Hello, I'm Derek Erickson, and welcome to Kitchen Table Conversations, the show where we go directly to you, America, to get to the nitty gritty of what is really on your mind. This week, I'm with Cassidy, wife and mother of four, to see how she feels about the war on Christmas. So, Cassidy, what are your thoughts on the war on Christmas? Well, Derek, today I am here with you to declare war on Christmas. Oh, really? And why is that? Well, I've got to be honest with you, Derek. It's only November, and I'm already exhausted. You don't say. Christmas used to be fun. Getting out of school, drinking hot chocolate, staying up late watching Charlie Brown. Now that I'm a parent, it totally sucks. But what about the joy that you get in your children's eyes oh, with please, the magic Derek, of Christmas? I have four kids. Four. That means on a good day, I might be able to shower and go to the bathroom. You add baking cookies from scratch, holiday parties, teacher's gifts, and handmade plaster cast ornaments of my kids' feet on top of that? Who has time for all that? I'm too busy running around town delivering specially curated gift baskets and sewing my kids four matching sets of Christmas pajamas to be bothered with any of it. Whose barf is this? I don't know, could be mine. The point is, I haven't changed my clothes in three days. Well, that certainly is harrowing. It is, Derek. It really is. Well, here to offer a counterpoint on this issue, coming to us all the way from 1986, is Cassidy's mom, Sandy Kinks, or as we like to call her, Mrs. K. Mom? What are you doing here? Hi, sweetie. Have you gained weight? Your cheeks are looking a little chubby. So, Mrs. K, what are your thoughts on the war on Christmas? Well, it's ridiculous, Derek. Just ridiculous. It's not Christmas's fault you're overwhelmed, sweetie. It's yours. Of course it is. You're bringing all of this extra work on yourself. When you guys were kids, Christmas only lasted one week. If you're so bogged down by your own to-do list, you need to do what we did. You throw the Christmas tree up a few days before Christmas, you stay up all night wrapping presents Christmas Eve, and you make your cookies from a tube. You know, sometimes I just threw the tube and a couple of spoons at them. Wow, well, mm -hmm. Mrs. K, this sounds like an issue that is deeply important to you. And if I can speak frankly? F of course. I am offended, truth be told. Offended? I did not march side by side with my sister so that your generation could sit around churning its own butter and crocheting Afghans. Mm -mm. Wow, Mom. You marched for women's rights? Metaphorically speaking, dear. Mrs. K, if you could say one thing to this new generation of moms about everything that they're doing wrong, what would it be? Put down your knitting needles and go out and get a job, I say. You know, love your kids, yes, of course. But get a life. Your mother's fought hard to change everything so that you could have one. Powerful words, Mrs. K. Powerful words. You didn't change everything. Excuse me? You didn't change everything. Do you know why I quit my job, Mom? Because I was getting three hours of sleep a night teaching all day, racing around to pick up all the kids, feeding them dinner, getting them off to bed, stay up late grading papers all night. Yes, you got us out of the house, but didn't you have a plan for everything else? All the lunches that need to be packed, all the doctor's appointments that need to be kept. We still do all of that. Instead of demanding that somebody else do half, you did it all yourself. You screwed us. Fluffernutters? Yeah, okay. And that's it for this week's Kitchen Table Conversations. Join us next week as we meet a man who works all day in the scorching Atlanta heat and then has to come home and endure an agonizing three-hour wait for his wife to get off of her job and finally get his dinner started. He's hungry, he's angry, and he's not going to take it anymore. We'll see you then.